Well, hello. Hello there, folks. How are you? Uh, this is KJ, of course, with the scariest movie ever channel on YouTube. Uh, this should be interesting. Hello. <laughs> oh, hold hello on one second. Folks. I need How to turn my volume uh, down over here. KJ. There we go. So I haven't done this, something like this in a while. Uh, I'm actually inviting people on from my Patreon. I've been wanting to do something like this for a while. And so what will happen is, yeah. is that they're going to start filtering in a little bit. Uh, so it can get a little bit chaotic sometimes at first when we do this. I never know how many people are going to show up. <laughs> so hopefully it'll be quite a few. And if not, you know, I'll just turn this into a, an afternoon chat hangout type thing, okay? But uh, it sounds like there's a few people in here. So I'm just going to wait until a few more people come in, guys. Thanks. I'll get right to you. I wanted to talk a little bit to the, uh, to the people who are watching right now. There's a few things I saw in chat I wanted to address. And for those of you coming in too, please just make sure to have your volume down in the background on your computer so it, uh, it won't echo. I actually had to do that myself over here. Um, a few things. I saw somebody say that YouTube channel Illuminati Watcher got their channel taken away, and that's a trip because I literally emailed him back yesterday. He wanted to do a show and have me on as a guest. And I just got back in town a few days ago, so I was like, yeah, let's let's do it, man. So, I mean, this is just beyond ridiculous. You know, another one bites the dust. Um, they may not be as vocal, YouTube, lately about the censorship stuff, but it's still obviously taking place. So please pray for the watchmen and watchwomen out there. Pray for the people out there online, YouTube and other places who are trying to expose the system for what it is. Uh, we definitely need it. You know, this is a, a spiritual battle. I can't sit around worrying about uh, some SJW with purple hair having the keys to the kingdom on my channel and other people. <laughs> you know, we can't worry about that. You just have to pray about it, you know, and uh, it's getting pretty crazy. So I just wanted to touch on that real quick. I've been away for a while. Hi, Mia. Thanks for being here. And hey, everyone, thanks for joining. I see you all in chat. I've been away for a little bit. Um, I'm back. That's a whole long story. Uh, part of it. I was kind of forced off for a little while. And then the other part is I wanted up taking a short break and I went and visited some friends. So I'm not going to bore you with all the details of that. God bless you though, man. I've missed you guys. I've got a lot of stuff to finish up. I got a couple big videos coming also on Patreon. I asked them to give me any subjects they'd like me to tackle. So I've been getting some great ideas and I'll be doing those videos as well. Uh, so anyway, let me go ahead and Bring this up here. Let me bring up my Google Hangout and see how many people. So I got one person in here, so that's good. We're on the way. <laughs> Karen, can you hear me? Yep. Hey, how you doing? I'm great. Good. Well, thanks for joining me. I wasn't sure how many people would come along. You know, this happens, and it's not a bad thing. It's just that I think a lot of people get a little nervous about coming onto these shows and doing that, and that's fair enough. I at least wanted to offer you guys that is an option, you know, uh, is my Patreons. You may hear dogs in the back. I'm actually dog sitting for my cousin. So I'm going to try to, uh, I can't put them outside. It's triple digit heat, but I'll figure something out if it starts getting out of control. They're not um, irritating. Huh? They're not irritating. <laughs> Angelo's here too. Yeah, this is a two for one. Oh, no way, Angelo. How you doing, man? Wonderful. How are you? I'm good. Uh, so anyway, guys, uh, first off, just how's things going? Oh, we're just uh, marinating right now, um, and you gave us something to actually entertain the rest of our afternoon, so thank you. Yeah, man. Are you uh, you guys experiencing this crazy heat, too? Oh. No. No, we're, we're in, like, uh, we're in Jackson Hole, so it's uh, basically, it doesn't get over 92 ever. Oh, okay. Well, that's actually pretty nice. So, yeah, it's pretty nice today. That is. Yeah. Now, Karen, are you Angelo's mom? Yes. Oh, okay. We've talked on email, right? On yes. Yes. And cool. on, on the phone briefly. That's yeah. right. Well, it's nice to, nice to chat with you again. So, uh, <laughs> so, so I was real excited when, uh, when I got the, um, you know, message on my email from through Patreon. And I go, oh, yay. 
<laughs> well, that's good. I appreciate it. You guys have been really good friends for a long time here, you know, so thanks. And as I said, we'll see how this goes. It may just be us for a little bit. If not, then I'll wind up, you know, jumping over to the chat and I'll chat with you guys there. And we got a lot to catch up on anyway. Give me a second, guys. I'm going to open this door and try to get these dogs in. Hold on one second. <laughs> Come on, guys. Calm down. Come on. All right. Here we go. Okay. That's better. Uh, you know, I'm used to dealing with cats. I'm a cat man myself. Uh, dogs are definitely a whole other thing. Uh, liquors. Cats are wonderful because you know. they take care of themselves. Yeah. That's why I'm crazy about them, you know? Uh, like, you know, he, he just kind of does his own thing. They only, they only come to you when you're needed. <laughs> right, exactly. And I, and I appreciate that. These yeah, dogs sure. follow me everywhere and, and they lick a lot. I'm getting well, a lick uh, Dogs are like uh, like having a child. Certainly. I could see that. It feels like it. Uh, in fact, if I could, I'd put them up for adoption, but I can't. I have to watch them <laughs> to take care of them. No, it's actually been nice. It's nice, too, just to get out of the house. You know, I. Uh, Part of the reason I had to go away for a while, my AC had gone down, but this turned into a whole weird thing. Uh, like my apartment complex is suing the contractors right now because they were honest, they were taking their time on this $6,000 job on my apartment. And uh, so, you know, I work from home. I'm also a very private person and uh, the house was so hot. I had to sit in the living room all day. So I've got these weirdos in my house for literally two weeks. Uh, pounding, drilling, smoking tons of cigarettes outside, and just making a mess, and never actually accomplishing anything. So it you got didn't crazy. Introduce them to vaping, huh? You didn't introduce them to vaping. I know. Well, you know, I didn't even want to talk to them after a while. It really started <laughs> getting annoying. And uh, and I'm very, uh, you know, I'm very agreeable. Like in real life, even I just like to get along. But I really snapped, and I had to write my complex. They actually gave me a discount, you know, on the rent, which was nice. But I just tried to explain, and plus, you know that they put in those those window coolers, and those things are like, Wah! and that's twenty four hours a day of that, and it just had me totally frazzled. Anyway, I don't want to keep complaining about that, but so that's kind of where that started. It got weird because everybody needs a little vacation time or away time. Oh, absolutely, it don't was nice. Yeah. Yeah. I went to I went down to Texas. I saw some old friends, and then I got to visit Silver Botanicals, my sponsor. That was really nice. Those guys, uh, he was really cool. Dean's really cool. But that's it, man. So I'm back, and I'm just ready to get back to work. But it's such a shame. I don't know if you heard me mention that, that Illuminati watcher, uh, his name is Isaac. He got his YouTube channel taken down. It seems like every time I go away for a bit and come back, it's just more channels are disappearing. Have you all noticed that? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's <Wow>. disgusting. <laughs> It really is. I mean, Instagram is opening up, uh, you know, longer downloads, which is a good thing. So I may eventually shift there, but I haven't, you know, like I've told people in the past who've asked, how am I still here? It's literally through prayer. I mean, that's the only thing I can do. It's, you know, I pray every day. A, it's a blessing is what that is. See, the thing though, is that we're, <laughs> we're all really um, expecting the devil to, uh, to, do right or whatever because youtube is google correct yeah so we can't expect them we can't expect anything truly good to come from their end right no absolutely and, and the only I, the only reason for any of the survival of any of us on it is jesus christ that's it yeah yeah man and i mean that's you know that's that's all it is it's just insane uh, how it's going but we got to hang in. We got to stay in. I don't ever want to quit, but yeah. you know, like I said, it's uh, all you can do is really pray about it. So, is there anything? Uh, how are you guys doing, man? Anything on your mind you want to discuss? Anything you wanted to pass on? Anything you've noticed, or what do you um, think? Let's see. What about, I'll let you. Uh, first with that. Oh, go ahead. I've, <laughs> I've had. <clears throat> I had. Uh, a dream. I'm trying. I'm not ready here to fully disclose. I gotta kind of recapture it. Of course, um, I just I told uh, Angelo and his girlfriend about it. Um, but the import that the one of the things I took away from it was. Uh, there was one zero four, which could 
associated with my name. And so I took, and Angela goes, oh, that could be 10-4. And I go, oh, yeah. So I uh, sort of applied it to my life and booked my uh, vacation uh, starting then. 10-4 not, also not, means is a code that they use to for confirmation. Like, yeah, my dad, my, my other, I have two dads, but my first dad was a truck driver. Yeah, so yeah, I know. Yeah, so you're going 10-4, good buddy. <laughs> <Right>. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's some, there's some other, I can't remember his name. It might be the YouTube channel, It Is Finished, but somebody else on YouTube has been seeing 10-4 for a long time as well. Just throwing that out there. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. So I thought, well, <clears throat> if it's indicative of, something difficult we have to go through that I'd rather not be working. <laughs> so, no, I know what you mean. Yeah. So I like, go, oh, okay, well, well, I hope for, hope for the best, but be better for the worst. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm taking you, it off. <laughs> that, that's okay. Well, do you know Nicholson 1968, the YouTuber? He's, he's our, <laughs> yes. Yes, of course. He's, okay, he's, good. He's my other Patreon. Oh, that, okay, great. Yeah. And I'm actually working on two songs that are like a collaboration with us. So. Oh, that'd be nice. I'm going to have him on soon. I actually talked to him. To, we're friends. I talked to him on the phone today. You know, he, he knows uh, Doyle. You know that, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's a uh, Doyle. Oh, okay. There's uh, a few people that I actually know that have done uh, as much research or even more than I have. And those are uh, you, Nicholson, Doyle. That's it. Cool. You well, guys are all solid. Like, thank you. Always, always. It's a hundred percent, you know, and even if there's a little mistake, it's corrected and then we move on. That's the thanks. And that's actually, here's kind of a behind the scenes and what we were talking about. That's why I brought it up because of what your mom was mentioning, but there's two parts, but one of it is that, is that seeing the things we see, knowing the things we know, how do you continue on in this life? And it really has to be a balance because there've been times years ago where, you know, just like, I was just like, what's the point of doing anything? You know I mean? Because it's all going to end and that's not the right attitude. You know, it isn't the right attitude. <laughs> the right attitude is simple. It's um, our time here. Now that we know the truth is to, there's there's only no, there's only one possible thing that we could even do with our time that would be productive, and that is to bring as many others to that specific truth as possible, because nothing else matters. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you're right, man. We're we're supposed to be planting the seeds and letting people know about the truth, about Jesus, about the gospel, about everything else. And you know, we all have different ways you, of doing it. I want you to try this in your day-to-day uh, -day or whatever with just anybody that you come in contact with that may not uh, be, may not believe uh, in the Bible yet. Uh, hit, hit them off with this little uh, hypothetical question here just to get them thinking is, all right, we all – we're born alone, correct? We're all going to die alone, correct? So that means that no one of us or two of us it can help the other one after that happens. So um, the only person that even matters is God. Yeah, man, that's a good attitude. You know, it's interesting. I uh, the two He's groups the of friends. Friend you got. The two the two groups of friends I went and saw I call them my rich friends and it's just because it's not they're not doing anything evil for their money like uh, one of them works for the Veterans Affairs and uh, the other one is a professor uh, down in San Antonio and I've known him since the military but but the second group my it's a girlfriend of mine Colby I've known for years but you know she does really well in life and she has friends that are doing really well financially and I went to a pool party with them and. Colby's always the one that brings up the stuff I do with other people. I, in real life, I try not to talk much about it because I've seen how divisive it gets and it gets weird. Plus, 
you know, people just go nuts, you know, sometimes, but I actually had a decent experience there because they, Colby brought up some of the stuff I'm into. They started asking questions and I started kind of getting into some of this stuff with the people. And, and I was really surprised that, you know, they're actually really open to it uh, much more than I expected them to be. And I think it's just because people feel it. There's something in the air. Even these people were saying, you know, they can tell something's wrong. Something's weird. Something's off. And everybody's looking for answers. And, you know, that's why, again, it's a bummer for me that Illuminati Watcher got his channel taken down and you know, some of these other people I are just going this I way. Feel like one of th that guy's videos, are, but it was a while ago, but um, I, I don't remember it really. Like I'm, he's He's been in it for a long, long time, and it's always been good, man, you know, and, and that stuff matters. That's why yeah. I'm still into it. Consistency is key, with uh, especially on a platform that, anybody can put anything on there and there's just i mean there's just a large majority of uh of people that will have learned to just take anything that is on a youtube video as gospel and that's a mistake and it's <laughs> yeah you know it's another thing nicholson and i were discussing is that we both you guys are you guys are the most strict about uh the the actual factu factuality of what you of the content that you share, and I respect both of you so much for that because it, um, you're responsible, and we owe you uh, a thank you for that. Oh, thank you, man. I mean, and even with that though, is that we both feel really guilty all the time. I told him last month I felt so guilty because you well, know you, you've well, done all this. Well, you know how many people you you don't even know how many people you've helped. I hope so. Well, you know, the I only get I only get small indications, but they're always nice. I get nice emails from all around the world, and that helps. But even with that, you know, it's like, you know, I try not to even focus on that or get too puffed up. I really try to stay, you know, humble in spirit over all of it. But but Nicholson and I both feel guilty that, you know, we feel like we should be pumping out more videos for a Patreon, but I we can't. Do you guys, uh, do you guys even realize how much content you have? <laughs> I, I don't. Honestly, man, I appreciate that. And until I sit around and really think about it, I do. But I'm constantly in a state That's of just, thing. the the way things are today. Uh, people are so unappreciative, and like, okay, if they're gonna start bugging out about uh, you making a new video every uh, few days or whatever. Okay, then I want to ask those same people, have you watched every one of <laughs> or Nicholson's videos? I doubt it because there's so many of them. I haven't even got to see every single one of them. Thanks, man. That's, that's a good point. I just barely had seen uh, the scariest movie ever, uh, what, a few months ago? Yeah. I told you about it, and yeah, no, it was great. I was like, Thanks. wow. I want I want to do a sequel sometime, and I'll put that. I'll have to put that on the website. It wouldn't fly on YouTube, but but thanks, man. Yeah. It is nice to hear that, and you just know that. I hope the people know that we really care about what we're doing. That's why we only try to do the best. Don't get discouraged, all right? Don't don't. Uh, and you guys have no reason to feel guilty. You know, it's like without you guys, uh, without you guys, a uh, majority of YouTubers would be lost completely. Well, thanks, man. That's humbling. I appreciate it. And and, that, and you're not, you're never being uh, full of yourself. I, I mean, you're you're a humble person in the first place. It, okay, uh, being self aware of your um, characters. I mean, your character traits and your um, uh, and even your shortcomings. It's called confidence. Now, when you actually take um, a false confidence uh, that is filled with fallacies like made up uh made, made up things like um the pe people that claim they can do something but cannot right and that is arrogance and you're not that well it's thanks man. even when you speak you can hear it in your voice you can hear it in you're very careful with uh you're, you're very careful in your delivery so well, we, we we There's gotta no be. You guys should ever feel guilty or down about something, because uh, you guys are. Uh, I mean, in in our home, you guys are a staple. Uh, well, we we I can speak for him. I'm sure we appreciate it. And like I said, I just want y'all to at least you can see that. You know, like I said, man, we're real people. Uh, we also carry a lot of this. That's why he's got you know a family and everything, and and he does really great in life. He's doing good and. 
And so what we're talking about is it, we have to take breaks as well from this stuff. It does get a lot and I don't want to be miserable. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like I, I want to be a watchman and see this and I can't help myself. It's what I love to do. But you have like I said, to be yeah, like you got to take breaks. Eternally tough to the own degree just to, um, to be able to always do what we do, you know, like it's well, uh, yeah. it, it can be very, what, what was the, uh, depleting. Yeah. Taxing, depleting for sure. I mean, you know, it's funny you get these attacks in weird ways though. Like I said, I look at the whole AC thing as it was an attack. And then one of the guys that was, yeah, and I think it was those, a blessing for you. You needed to get away. You needed to get out. You needed I did. To, you needed to step away and what you went to that party, right? Which party? Oh, yeah, the pool party. Yeah, yeah and then you've got a little yeah. insight on uh, how others react to what you do and all that. And it's it positive to me. Yeah, those are good. It's a good you know test to kind of see you know, again because the, the the toughest people to convince of these things that I share and you know some of us here online share is it's when people have everything in the world they need. You know what I'm saying? Right. Those are the toughest cr uh, nuts to crack right there. It 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 was also a, a gauge of how uh, collective has progressed and opened up. Yeah, absolutely. You, you know, could compare yeah. it to how the uh, just a miscellaneous group reacted with previously. You know, yeah. how did they respond? And this time it was a little bit more uh, accepted. Well, you know, they were asking about movies and about symbols and all that. And yeah. And, and they asked yeah, about, uh, I'm sorry, I can hear my echo, guys. guys. You don't mind turning oh, the volume on. You're down. good over here. Okay, cool. I was just hearing on my end, I guess. But they were asking about Ant-Man, and, you know, I actually just saw that. I'm putting pieces of it in a new video, but it's like I tried to explain to them. I gave them a few symbols. I said, now that I've told you about these, every movie you watch, pretty much, especially <laughs> mainstream, yep. you'll see these things show up. And even in Ant-Man, there's the checkerboard floor. There's the horns. In the first 20 seconds, there's a... Uh, uh, one of the characters entering a room with a goat painting right behind him. I mean, this is, you know, it, it's yeah. all the time. So, you know, I'm hoping it helps. But um, and, and that, another oh, thing I noticed was uh, I'm hearing a lot more uh, I am in there. Uh, yeah, it was in Avengers. Thanos says it at the beginning. Right. That's a good, good catch. That's right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hillary, so, I think I showed you all that in my that's last. That's what video. that whole movie is about: is him obtaining godhood through that infinity gauntlet. Right. It's also the total new world order depopulation agenda. Yes. The, the, after the, I mean, if you actually, if you've actually read the um, the comic book that those a few comic book series is that they came out with uh, in their nineties, like Infinity Gauntlet. There's Infinity Quest, and then there's infinity but um there if you go there's a channel called comics explained that has like a two and a half hour um uh video all on that infinity gauntlet and you know what if you go back to all those comic books it's crazy because if you if you watch that channel you'll see how much of this esoteric stuff is actually put into uh, Marvel Comics, and it's that you know what that means. That means oh, it's huge. That means Stan Lee is a, a member of the Brotherhood. I'm sure. I, I wouldn't doubt that. And also, there's a great book called I think it was called Our Gods Wore Spandex, and it talks a little bit about that as well. That who wrote that? You know, yeah, these are all like lesser gods, basically, uh, that we're seeing in these movies. And there's always an agenda. Comic-Con's happening today. I'm actually excited to see some trailers out of there for new things coming out. But, yeah. you know, Comic-Con's oh, yeah. logo is the all-seeing eye. I mean, it's it's just blatant. You know, Everybody's right. is that or the, the 666. Is, <laughs> um, ha have you read the, Se the Secret Doctrine? Oh, my gosh. Uh, yeah. We Who wrote that? Volume 2, like a, a third print release uh, i mean it was from 1925 yeah i read it years ago and but it has and it has a chapter on um on thor's hammer and what it means uh, thor's hammer it's it says that thor's hammer is the swastika and it gives you the whole uh 
exoteric to esoteric uh, translation in it. And then um, what, and what you're seeing in what we're all seeing in movies and media um, more and more and more um, from the time we were children to now is the externalization of the hierarchy that Alice Bailey. Oh yeah. You nailed it. That's absolutely it. Yeah. And Alice and Foster Bailey, it was her husband. They talked a lot about, uh, the intention behind symbols, you know, and this is exactly why we see all these symbols in films. You know, a lot of it has to do with Tell the intention. Them a little bit more about that. They need to know that. Yeah. Oh, well, you know what I need to do is I need to just do a video where I'm reading a lot of Foster Bailey and Alice Bailey because they exposed the entire thing, you know, and uh, well, they're part of it, you know, they, yeah, they're, mean, part they're part of, of the theosophical uh, society with, um, I mean, they're um, protégés of Blavatsky. So, Yep, absolutely. Uh, Helen Keller was around that group as well. Um, so yeah, somebody in chat was talking about Deadpool, and that's another one that. Yeah, you know, no, I've I seen that. I've seen that the second one. Um, yeah, and and the, they were saying he seems really gay. And what I'll tell yeah, you, is that, yo, he go on the first Deadpool. He goes on the first date with uh, what Marina Baccarin, who's uh, gorgeous or whatever, and. The end part of their date is him getting it, getting pegged. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I was he like, to oh, grab yeah, it's time there. to turn this one off. Well, what, what I want people to do is if you really want to know what Deadpool is, go to the comics and you'll see that he is a total degenerate and pervert in the comics. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sex with young boys and everything. Like it's. There's no holding back. He's a total pervert and degenerate. They have a the comic. video game that's true to that character. Have you ever seen it? It has cable in it. It was years ago that it came out. But yeah, it's, uh -uh. Like, it's, it's pretty crazy. You'd have to uh, just look it up on YouTube. You'll find everything on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. I'll check it out, man. Check it out. Well, hey, you guys. Um, like I said, I, I, it's looking like I'm guessing the other people might not show. I may go try to drop another well, link there and just you know check. What? Maybe, but, uh, they didn't. Maybe they are not awake. I mean, yeah, I just maybe. assumed that I would have to go to my Patreon, and then I did, and you had the uh, the little blurb about that you would upload the link there. Yeah. But if nobody looked there... I still got the there, notification uh, on my phone for, did for you? YouTube, yeah. Did so. you? Huh, yeah. Well. It's okay. I don't take it personally. I've, like I said, in the past, I've done these where I've said, hey, come on, guys. You can talk about whatever. And then people just, they bounce. They don't do it. And I don't take it personally. You know they're, they're a little shy. You know, it's uh, sometimes you got to, you know, uh, reel them in a little bit if they're that shy. Yeah. Uh, well, I didn't, I didn't care what it was going to be. <laughs> All I knew is it was a great opportunity to reconnect with you. Well, and thanks. Yeah. so there was like no way I was going to miss it. You <laughs> Thank know? you. Yeah. We were, we were waiting for one o'clock since six. <laughs> oh man. Thanks guys. Well, man, I, I appreciate you guys coming on. It's always good chatting with you. I guess what I may do uh, just, you know, so I can kind of keep the show rolling Yo, uh, go in the chat room. Man. Yeah, I'm gonna jump in the chat. I think, and I it's. Yeah, I hope you guys are cool with that. It's no offense. Yeah, I've enjoyed just, talking to you. I, I just want to keep it questions. moving. I mean, I'll look on my phone and see what they're talking about too. Okay, cool, cool. So, Let's do that. yeah, yeah. Thanks for joining me, guys. I'm going to uh, jump over here in the chat for a little bit and just see how the folks are doing, and uh, see if they have any questions over here. So, guys, I'm over here in the chat. And once again, thanks for being here. Uh, you know, this was me rolling the dice, which I like to do. I like to take chances on these shows, and it's okay. We're gonna we're gonna make the best of it, man. We got nice guests here right now and old friends. And now, just I'm gonna jump to the chat. If you guys have any subjects you want to talk about, any questions, uh, please feel free to throw feel free to throw them out there. Okay. So let me see here. I'm just gonna start reading some. Oh, Monica Devereux, thank you. Wow, Wilkerson and Lawson. That's a great Devereux, bro. That's great company to be in. Devereux, yeah, thank you. No problem. And I'm still scrolling down here. Let's see what else we got. Oh, yeah, that was you, Lindsay, I think, talking about Deadpool. Like I said, go look up the comics, and it's just, it's really disgusting. Um, but, you know, they had to shave it down a little bit for the movies, I guess. 
Mayor McDeath says, go ahead and chop my head off. All right. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Still scrolling down, guys. Like I said, if you have any questions or anything, Clint Alexander says, my old man was a Mason. Both my granddads were, but they're not the same kind of Masons that, uh, you know, the guys in Washington and Hollywood were. Still, I don't like that they were involved in it. You know, I didn't understand it uh, when they both passed many years ago. They were always great granddads to me, but, you know, small town Masons, you know what I mean? So, you know, I'd like to think they weren't doing evil things. <laughs> we'll see. Hey, Juliet. How you doing, Juliet? Good to see you. And let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, look at this. It says uh, so, um, somebody named Question said, I got the link, but I'm YouTube shy. Yeah, that's okay. Question. Yeah. And she's been a friend for a while. I think it's a she, but, and that's, yeah, same thing. I know like there've been back in the day on a lot of my shows, I'd actually put the link right in the chat and just have people come on in and, you know, I may do that again sometime in the future as well. But, you know, this is always also a chance just for me to kind of jump back in here uh, with you guys and say hi and visit for a little bit. Chris Knowles, Link Rockwell says the author is Chris Knowles, our gods wear spandex. Thanks. So that's a good one to check out. And let's see here. Still moving down. I see is something. San DRO says my friend's Facebook got removed because of too much spam. Is this the beginning of removing everything that relates to fake news and free speech? Sure, man. It's a part of it. You know, I, I thought there might be some hope. I saw that Google had to go talk with uh, was it the Congress or the Senate. I'm not sure which one, but politicians and they were kind of busting Google's balls, which is awesome. And I really wish they would break it apart obviously you know because well, the whole thing you got to pay attention to it's not going to happen just like that you know because that's it never works that way you have to do it a little little piece by piece until uh until you're until everybody that you're trying to um suppress is already within uh, a cage where yeah, they it's, uh, it's the boiling frog yeah you know, it really is yes, it's like they yes. slowly turn it up on you and uh, you know, like it's just so crazy that so much of it's out there right now. But, you know, again, we can't – we're all just kind of waiting and watching. Don't this, get discouraged. There's no yeah. reason for it. Keep up the good work. And, uh, hey, the, there's too many of us to be worried about. Uh, yeah, and, yeah. I mean, we have, we have more power than they do. The thing is, is that we aren't intelligent enough to – all work together and actually do something about it collectively. Yeah, I put that. It was a it was a line I wrote at the end of the scariest movie ever, and it's that you know there's millions of us and thousands of them. Always keep that in mind as well. You know, Absolutely. I see uh, somebody was asking me about Q. Uh, I'm not into Q. Uh, no offense to <laughs> me, I'm not into anonymous. I'm not into any shady group that has insider information like that because uh, you know. Oh, cool. Somebody else joined here too. Yeah, I'm not into that, man, because I just, you know. I, the thing I about that is that if, if okay, if they have that kind of information it, and, they're, uh, and they're being talked about on mainstream news. It's social engineering. Yeah, absolutely. That's a part of it. People are falling for it because, hey, it's it looks like we have somebody on our side. People are going to bite that up real quick, and they did, and they yeah. did. And um, it's it's just that it's just another case of uh, getting you to follow a, a false prophet. That's it. Hey guys, I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I've got somebody new here in the room. I think I want to make sure. Yes. Can you hear me? The the new person in the room. Can you hear me there? Hi, I can hear you. Okay, oh. good. Hi. Hey, How hey, are you? I'm good, thanks. Give me one second. Karen and Angelo, I guess uh, for oh, now... Talk to, talk to Allie. Yeah, I'm going to put y'all on mute just for now while we're chatting. No offense, it just makes it easier for me to hear them, okay? Absolutely. And nice chatting with y'all again, and I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Okay. Take care. <laughs>